everybody, welcome back to this week's taste test video. So we've got some guests with us. Someone's happy to be in it. This is Lakeland. Lakeland, can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> Aw, and then we've got Tristan back for another one. You wanna say hi too, bud? Yeah, hi. Okay, so, and then of course, Brent is here as well too. So the first item that we're gonna try is the one that Tristan can try. And you wanna show him what we're trying first? We're trying the truffle Cheetos. So go ahead and dig in. You want to open them up? You want to give us some too? Give one a sister. What do you think? How's it taste? Good. It tastes good? Yep. Okay, so what do you think, Tristan? Do you like it? Yep. He's been eating a lot of them. So Tristan approves, Lakeland's eating them. What do you think, Brent? I think they're a little on the salty side. A little salty? Well, the first like bite that I got, you, I tasted the truffle, and I was not a fan of it at all. Um, but afterwards, it went away, and then I just got the cheese, like the normal cheese. And the second one, I didn't taste the truffle as much. I don't know if it's because I got used to it or what, but I don't know. I, I, I'm sure if you like truffle, you'll like these. I don't hate it. Tristan's eating them all up and Lakeland likes them too, so they approve. Would you eat them? Not really, no. No? Not my thing. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Tristan took a bowl of those Cheetos and he's watching his show and eating that snack. He loved them. So we are gonna try all the rest of the food that Tristan unfortunately can't. So next up, we're gonna try these. These are not new, but you guys said you wanted to see them. These are the Parmesan pastry puffs. They look really good. Do you wanna try one, Lake? Oh. <laughs> Here, hold it. Oh, you're just, you want to take a bite? Here you go, hold it. Where's mine? Feed me. There you go. You want to be like Lakeland? Sure. I'm going to try it by itself, and then I'm going to dip it in the Incredi sauce. See how that tastes. I actually really like these just by themselves. They're like, um, what are they called? A pig in a blanket. But the Parmesan on the outside is what makes these so good. I put them in the air fryer. They're nice and crispy. And you really pick up on the Parmesan, which in my opinion is what makes these incredible. I think it's absolutely like delicious for a pig in a blanket. I don't know. Well, she's eating it, which is good. And normally I can't get her to eat hot dogs. So, oh, she just put the rest in her mouth. So she approves. So I think we all like these ones. These ones are a win. I would actually buy these again. Okay. This pairs perfectly with that sauce. That's absolutely delicious. Did you try it with the sauce? No. There's another one right there. So good. This is how I will be eating this from now on. And I'm definitely going to buy these again. This is really good. Because it's... It's really good. It pairs well with yeah, it, huh? Yeah, it's with the sauce. Yeah, this is, if you haven't tried this with that sauce yet, I would definitely recommend. Really good. Okay, so next up we have the four cheese pastry roll. So this is the size of it. This is what it looks like. It comes with four of them in there and you have to bake them in the oven. So that's what I did. Let's like tear it apart so we can make sure we get the cheese. There we go. You wanna try one? Let's dig in. Is that good? Yes or no? Yes. Mm. <laughs> That's a good one, huh? It tastes just like a cheese pastry would. Um, if you guys like that, then they hit it out of the park. I like this. I think these are perfect. What about you? I like them. They're yeah. pretty good. It's nice and flaky on the outside. The cream cheese in the middle is nice and sweet. It's really good. Uh, I would definitely buy these ones again. Yeah, I like them. Yeah. Okay, so next up, we're eating this. This is the vegan spinach and cashew ravioli. I said in my haul, this would be really good, probably with some pesto over it, with some olive oil. I didn't have pesto, so I just added some marinara sauce and the Italian um, sofrita seasoning on top of ours. So that's how we're going to try them. Is that good? Mm. Yes or no? Papa. Oh, awesome. likes it. Mm. <laughs> Someone really likes that. Mm -hmm. So Lakeland really likes that. I think she's enjoyed everything so far. What do you think of it? It's pretty good for having vegan spinach in it. Yeah, I think it's good. I think it's very good as well, too. I can't tell that it's vegan. You definitely get, um, it's very spinach forward, though, which I'm surprised because you typically don't like spinach, and you yeah. actually 
you liked it. So I think this is really good. If you're vegan, definitely pick this one up. I think you'll love it. Even if you're not, um, if you like spinach ravioli typically, I think you won't even mind that this one's vegan. You'll like it as well too. So um, yeah, I think they nailed it out of the park with this one. Lakeland loves it. So this one was a win as well too. So the dessert that we are gonna try, the last one, the Trace Leche Cake, Three Milks Cake. So excited to try this one. All you have to do is just stick it out on the counter if you want to defrost it, or you can defrost it in the fridge overnight. And then this is just, a, I would say this is about like a third of the cake. This isn't the whole thing. I just cut us a piece and let's dig in. <laughs> She's like, I'm not giving a fork to dad. I'm gonna dig right in. Oh, she just got pure whipped cream. <laughs> There you go. Mmm. <laughs> I feel like there isn't much cake for some reason. When you, every well, bite you take, I, I taste more of the whipped cream. Well, it's a cake. very light and fluffy sponge cake consistency. And then the whipped cream. I think this is absolutely delicious. Like this is like a 10 out of 10 for me. I like the airy, spongy consistency, almost like an angel cake. It's a little heavier than an angel cake. Um, it's very moist, and it's the whipped cream on top is perfect. I, it's a very nice, soft, subtle flavor, um, but I absolutely love this. This is like, like I said, this is a 10 out of 10 for me. There's nothing wrong with it. What do you think? I think it's like a six for me. A six for you? Okay. Like I would prefer this over just like a reg regular vanilla cake because that's very heavy I feel like and this one. I just love the spongy airy texture. It's nice and light I like it. Maybe that's what I don't like about it. Then. Yeah, it's not like your traditional cake It's it's very light and fluffy, um, but I think it's I think it's really good if it sounds interesting to you I would say go ahead try it pick it up. I mean it didn't disappoint me all I would get this again for sure uh, So what was your favorite item that we tried this week? The pigs in a blanket. The pigs in the blanket? Yeah. I have to say everything was a standout for me. The cake, absolutely delicious. Those pigs in a blanket, so good. Oh, and the cheese rolls were, oh. so, I would say the cheese rolls, the pig in the blanket and the cake were all amazing. I will be getting those again for sure. Um, and then the ravioli was good for a vegan ravioli. Like I might get that again as well too. That, I mean, out of the three though, that was probably my least favorite, but it was still good. So there was no misses this week. A really good taste test video. I've definitely found some favorites that I'm excited to buy in the future. So that was everything this, oh, I forgot about the cheese crunchies too. The Those are Tristan's favorite, huh? Did you like those Cheetos? Yeah. You did, so that was his favorite. Well, that's it for this taste test video, you guys. You wanna tell him bye? Bye. You wanna say bye, Lakeland? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys next week, bye. Hi. 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 Hello. Hello, you could be on YouTube, huh? Mama. Mama. Yeah, what's what your mama said, huh? Keep